Yeah. Okay. Well, I think the first one's Jake Chris Spirit anyhow. Well, now we're recording. <laughs> Thank you, Great Spirit. <laughs> Oh, shift. <laughs> the beautiful thing about creating is you can keep doing it. <laughs> if it doesn't feel right, well, I'll just do it again. So, or not. Right or wrong. It's like allowing it to come on its own like a horse. Well, I mean, like that just happened to me recently with like my, here, I'm going to turn on me for a second. With my computer getting like completely encrypted and like losing tons of artwork and tons of files, and I was like, you know what? I can just create more. I can just keep creating, you know, like that stuff was good. It's gonna get better. You gotta keep getting better. Mm. And it's good practice and letting go. I just felt felt like it was like is the Buddhist sand paying like whew. Well I got a whole new surface to work with. So is it this isn't one piece. You're cutting up the, the, these guys? Each one will be individual, yeah. Yeah. Are, are you breaking them up just for fun right now? or? Oh, because you got to lay that down without smudging yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. At. So I, the, by the time I get back here, this, this black is pretty much, well, that needs to dry a little bit longer. But, you know, nice. What's the irony about it? I'm guessing that's one reason you're, you're doing it, is you're standing in front of the White House. Well, that's kind of what's, what that is pretty funny is that the, when I took the original photo, yeah, the White House is right there behind him and everything. He's all, you know, it's, it is pretty amusing. If only I could put that behind him everywhere, too. <laughs> Actually, that would be pretty great. So it's the big White House smile, you know. Have you, have you put one, like, at the White House where he was and took no, a picture of it? No, I haven't gone to Washington, D.C. yet, but when I do, I, I definitely will have to figure out a way to get that done. I'll have to be real slick about that. <laughs> real slick. In fact, I probably probably just have to put it on wood and then and then jigsaw cut it out and put a little kickstand on it and just walk it up there, kickstand it and split, you know? Yeah. You know, I actually had a vision about the days of Camelot doing a White House thing where we all like legally like brought crystals and made like a big circle around the White House, however big it needed to be. <laughs> and like simultaneously did some prayer and some recording, you know, and brought in the energy. That would be fun. That would be like, cool. we're calling on you. <laughs> Hell yeah. And same thing, just everywhere. Go around the Pentagon and legally do light work. <laughs> that, would be, that would be so bad. Give them reminders. And options. I'll legally do light work. It just sounds like a Pentagon thing. Right? Because it's the most simple, peaceful act to the deed. You know what's funny? It's if I manage your shirt, is like. We've been talking about this like all day, oh, yeah. and you're like wearing it. She's wearing yeah, the 12. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a sign. We, well, we've been talking about so, like the days of Camelot is like this like yes. fundamental archetype structure you see is like 12 around the one. And so you had the 12 knights of the round table with King Arthur leading them, and Merlin was the, was the, the, the avatar around the 12, the 12 zodiac. And then you have, uh, you have, you have Jesus Christ as the avatar and his 12 disciples and Peter led him and Peter is the Arthur and it's just, it's just this, it's, it's a fundamental structure you see in nature and uh, what happens when you get these groups and balance together and like working on one project is like what you can accomplish. And so I feel like we're at this point too where like, here we go, there's all these awesome, phenomenal people everywhere like any big city I go to is just like happening. Everything's just happening right now. And like, I'm all working on like three different projects with three different teams, yet all these projects and teams are working like simultaneously together at the same time. And it's just, we, we're just, we all know each other. And like yesterday, my friend calls me up, who's the CEO of one of the companies I'm working for. I've been trying to get hold of this girl, Fabienne, who's from France, and she's a physicist. and. Uh, for like two months now, like really trying to get a hold of her. And my friend Am calls me up yesterday. He's like, hey, do you know Fabienne? I'm like, man, there's only one person who's playing. I know that people drop the name Fabienne. It's like, yeah, I know Fabienne. It's like, how do you know Fabienne? And he's like, man, I've just spent the last two days with Fabienne. She's got to work with us on the Delphi project. I'm like, no way. Oh my God. I didn't even have to try. <laughs> and she's already working with us. And like, it's amazing in terms of the groups from all over the planet, not just here in the US, like syncing up right now, and that we're just 
we're just doing the good work. We're just doing what we love and it's just coming together to make this actual like revolutionary change happen. And I, I'm, it's, uh, it's good to be a part of it. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Nice. And so like, we're building a transformational event center outside Vegas, like 30 miles south. We're about to purchase 155 acres this month. Let's have some real fun. And oh man, we're gonna have so much fun. And so we're taking like the whole vibe of the Conscious Music Festival in Burning Man and putting it into a facility so there's an intentional community based around a full-time event center. But being it's in Vegas, anyone can get there, but it's 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 in the desert on this lovely uh, uh, it's it's like the divide between the, the Colorado River and the valley that 95 runs through. And you can and you can see the Colorado from it's just Beautiful. Anyways, we just had like the guy who designed Epcot sign up with us. He's gonna design the fucking oh, wow, center for us, and he's all about it. And like everyone who's hearing about the project is like, man, this is great. I, I want it. And so there's just like metaphysical, physical, financial, cultural resources all just like popping up right now in terms of making this one project happen of like many. And that's not just like one project. It's like all the projects are synchronizing and starting to work together and it's not just about one thing. It's just, we're all participating in the change. And I, I can't do this. Gordon, I'm gonna go. Um, well, it's it's, it's really becoming clear to everyone right now. Um, and so like, to, uh, 2012, oh, okay. right. before 2012, uh, right. it was really hard for me to like, just randomly walk up yeah. to and be like, hey, you wanna talk some metaphysics? You wanna go deep down into reality and take some red pills with me? That was like a little <laughs> hard. But like nowadays, I can like walk, I can walk into South Central and fucking <laughs> shoot metaphysics with like the normal individual. And like, it's just, it's just there. There's just more light coming to the plant, so more, the, the brain is literally turning off. Like Lucy is happening right now. Like 20%, I give us like two years, you know? And like the brain right. is coming online like never before. We're looking at clouds. <laughs> you can't pass that thing. With a power line, which eventually won't be there anymore. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, no, shit. no more power lines. Right through the air. It's good for all business to adopt the supremely awesome technologies of Nikola Tesla in the, in the key of his original intention. That everyone, everyone be taken care of. Everyone's mother be fed well and be warm. Hmm. Very soon it will be a perpetual buffet. Burritos, para todos, all a million, a billion hands in action, you know, mm -hmm. helping each other, and a really good compost system. And a awesome, it's all been designed too and studied. The huge network of local organic farms, providing everybody with all their needs. Super free, good technology. You know, taking care of transportation and manufacturing and all the big energy costs. Well, I mean, I think that's the beauty is like realizing that all of the solutions, like everyone's thought of them right now. Like they're all there. We got to put it's them just... in alignment and get the maximum efficiency and then it'll be the best economy because there won't be this fear of falling into the pit. It'll have a bottom in it where everyone can have the basics built into this design, of, you know, built into the design. Sometimes you have to hit rock bottom to create a good foundation. What about this? What if that's actually the only thing that'll save our economy? Or one of the things that'll save our economy is allowing there to be a bottom floor where excess money from the top of the financial sectors that's like, at that point, just like ridiculous and not, not even tangible. It's just like an imaginary thingy that's also very real in its consequences. Just sort of like siphoning off underground and then giving people just the basics of what they'd need so there'd be no excuse not to get out there and do something. How do we get there? Um, we inspire through love the awakening of everyone. That's where I'm at. Well, like, I, I mean, I think one of, like, the simple things is, like, I mean, like, learn, learning, like, the metaphysical definition of a teacher is, that, is, like, there's teachers who preach and then there's teachers who just are. You just be themselves. Mm. You just live yourself. And so, are. like, 
reality TV is, is, is evolving into us just like owning our vibration, just living that vibration and just the, no shadows, no, no obscurity and just being like, what do you want to do? Let's do it. Completely. Which currently is recording this video. We're doing it. The creativity. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I've been bouncing all day. <laughs> Pretty good. Nice, yeah. Looks really good. <laughs> it's like the Skittles poster child. Helps to really make the process of creating it super fun. Because in the end, it's just about the experience of sharing energy, light, love, wisdom, just sharing and like like trees and fruit. So no. The rules are only there to support the growth. They're not supporting the growth. Oh, yeah, it's so good. They are not good rules. <laughs> and by growth, I mean, like, balance. How would you say it, sister? You know what I mean? Like, not growth. We need to grow. It's like, well... Like, I think we need to create a... Like, resonate with our boundary condition and harmony. Well, to if thrive. you pick a flower, how is it going to grow? All right. <laughs> Well, one of my favorite, favorite lines is the end of Into the Wild, like the last piece of writing ever found by Chris McCandless when he died in that bus up in Alaska. And he's alone by himself and he'd been like seeking this like solitude and like this truth about, about himself and the universe. And uh, he came up with the phrase, um, or he didn't come up, he just wrote it. That was his, it was his statement, his final statement. Beauty is supposed to be shared. And ain't it the truth? All right, yo, the Council of Virtues is gonna be so sweet. Let's all bring our virtues to the table. <laughs> be like humility on top of discipline. Learn self-discipline. Okay, yeah, visioning some more stuff. The clothing? Yeah. What's in front of my nose? I don't know, but on top of my nose is my third eye. <laughs> and it's speaking into this idea that it'd be fun to make magical clothing garments that have deep intentions behind them. Of like, you know, like, put on your vest of humidity. <laughs> well, like, there's a simple thing, like, she's wearing the Zodiac on her shirt, and, like, that Zodiac is, like, influencing the heart chakra. Right. So I'm saying, and so, yeah. like, the spiritual clothing that's coming out, or people mm -hmm. saying, like, the warrior garments is what the sacred symbols and the intent do them to actually, in terms of reflecting on your own body. Right. That's it. And crystals. Full clothing embodiments. Here we go. <laughs> Thank okay. you. This is my heart amplification device. Nice. <laughs> it's called a Something spirit else. quartz. Oh. Mm-hmm. It's all a uh, vermeil, electroform, 24 karat gold. Mm -hmm. All my friends are. I think it's important to stimulate the art economy. Hey, Pike, you want to just give a yeah, just shout give out for your, your website, your Instagram? Yeah. Oh, the 169, yeah. The 169. 169. Awesome. That's it. Right. When someone makes something for you and they think about you, I can be incredible too. Yeah. Reclaim streets for feet. <laughs> <laughs> Automobiles. Are maybe not such a great thing. They're, they're too big and too dangerous and too... Um, <clears throat> what's that science? Arturo? <laughs> uh, energy consuming? They're always like <laughs> exploding everything and not like receiving. Oh, there's using aggressive mask and energy to create en to create like, movement. I guess what I'm saying is versus I'm, like yeah. suaveness and gracefulness. There we go. This is what we're talking about. The more that we like 
utilize balanced, harmonious, natural technologies, the more we'll be floating around like Jetson. Hello. Hey, how's it going? You having a good day? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Hello. Have a nice day. Yeah. <laughs> All of these are going to London tomorrow. From Hollywood. Hollywood to London. <laughs> Hollywood to London. <laughs> Not a bad.